It is lunchtime on board the Island Princess, and as you can see, I am no longer wearing a mask. The requirement has been dropped. It was just a precautionary measure. They are still recommended, but I can now walk around free without the mask. Also, incredible news, I have finally found the location of the crew bar, sorry, the crew recreational area. That's the most important thing of this contract so far that I've found. Um, my map has fallen off the wall. I need some uh, stronger magnets, I think, before that uh, keeps falling down. Um, so it's only midday today. I've done a few things today. I've met a guest, a guest that I booked onto this world cruise six months ago. So it was amazing to see uh, Manuel uh, from Mexico. Uh, again, he booked the cruise with me. And um, he, there was a guy on board my last ship uh, who had done literally the entire European season. I'm talking six months of back to back to back cruises. And he's here again. So hello to Frank if you watch my videos as well. Uh, amazing to see you again. And I've also been invited today by the medical department to have a booster. Turns out I now need a fourth booster um, jab for COVID um, if I want to continue on this ship, which is fine, I don't mind that. Just took me by surprise, I didn't realise we were still doing uh, boosters. I thought the third one was enough, but apparently I now need a fourth one. And I'm just going to relax now in my cabin. A lot of my papers have been done, my credit card is now logged, I can now buy things. So I'm not looking forward to tonight where I'm going to check out the cruise shop and the crew recreational area. Remember, it's not a bar, it's a recreational area. Um, I've met some old friends today from the sky as well, the crew now I'm talking about. So it's it's been a really nice day today so far. It's only midday. Um, I've had some nice words of encouragement from my bosses because I had a good day yesterday in terms of um, in terms of revenue. So that's all for now. I might give you an update later on tonight if anything interesting happens at all. Much, much, much later. It is 10 p.m. and I am checking in after my uh, visit to the cruise shop. I have it. I have my axe. It's not Lynx. When you are outside the UK, it's not Lynx. It becomes axe. And I don't know why, but apparently axe is how the company originally started. We're just weird in the UK with Lynx. Um, we've been to the crew recreational area. We have found it. We have found the crew shop. And um, very impressed. The crew bar sorry, the crew recreational area, not quite the same size it was on the Sky Princess. It's a little, little bit smaller. It's freaking tiny, it's, it's so small, um, but it's intimate. And that is incredible because I was there for all of, what, half an hour? And you get, you get talking to everybody. You get talking to absolutely everybody. So I've just met a Geordie uh, electrical engineer and a Scouse, oh, sorry, two Scouse members of the band, as well as a Brazilian, a Chilean, and a guy from Nicaragua. So there's so many different people on here. I, like I, said, I was there for about, about about an hour, to be fair. So I am now gonna go to bed. It is, uh, it is kinda late, it is 10 o'clock. So to me, that's kinda late. I am kinda tired, I was up early this morning. And I am up early tomorrow, uh, 8.20, I have to get this booster vaccine which in hindsight, I actually don't know where I have to be for that vaccine. I presume it's the medical center, but I'm not too sure. So actually, I'm now going to go back to my office to find out where that vaccine is going to be done. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the medical center, but I don't wanna mess that up. So um, yeah, this ship, by the way, is proper moving in the ocean. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, but there are waves going against my window. So I'm on deck five here. Um, I was on the Sky Princess on deck four, and the waves hit me then. This is deck five. Okay, it's a smaller ship, but the waves here are ginormous, and you can really feel this ship move. I was walking down the, um, the M1 before. The M1, by the way, for people who don't know, the M1 is a giant corridor that stretches from the one end of the ship to the other. It's one giant corridor where they push all the pallets down, all the suitcases go down. It's just a massive um, highway for, or a massive motorway for the ship. It's such an important part of the ship. And I was walking down there before and there are people just like walking to the left and then they're walking to the right because the ship is moving so much. It's absolutely insane. Um, and now it's late at night. I feel like it's got even worse. <laughs> I've only had two Cokes so it's definitely not me, it's definitely the ship. I'm gonna go back to my office, check out where I have to go for the vaccine, 
and then I'm going to bed. Good night, and I'll try not to fall flat on my face as I do it.